We are four students who are going to be showing how the Earth orbits around the Sun with its axis tilted. And our goal is to make sure that we keep the Earth's axis tilted in the direction where the northern axis is always pointed towards the wall here that has the projector screen on it. So we're going to tip it this way, and our job as we're going around is A, to go around in the correct direction and to always have the axis pointed this way. So we're going to go from spring to summer and summer to fall and fall to winter and winter back to spring. Okay. And from spring to summer and we want to make sure we're actually orbiting around the sun and not above the sun. So that's showing the Earth's orbit. So the next thing we do, once students appropriately demonstrate that, then they have to show the same thing, but day and night at each season point. So if I'm here at spring, I've got to have my northern axis pointed towards this wall. So right now where my Lego person is standing, they are experiencing sunset. So I'm going to rotate my Earth so that it is daytime for my Lego person, Vicky, and now it is nighttime. Daytime, nighttime. And then it's going to have day, night, day, night, day, night, I'm going to pass to summer. I'm going to rotate. So we're at daytime, nighttime, daytime, rotate over. And now we're transitioning to fall. This is midday, daytime, and nighttime, daytime, nighttime. Continue rotating. Good winter. winter. Daytime, nighttime, daytime, and nighttime. Okay. So now what we want to do is just make sure the students have a sense of how the sun angle is changing when we are at the summer daytime point versus the winter daytime point. So I'm going to give it to summer and what we're going to do is try and figure out where the sun is in the sky for our Lego person and we're going to have an arm stick out and point to where the sun is. So right now, if they're looking up straight ahead, they're looking that way. So they're not going to see the sun unless they bend their whole body backwards to see the sun. But we're going to assume they're not doing that. They're just going to be standing normally with pointing at the sun. So it's not quite over their heads, but it's pretty high up. Okay, so we're going to pass to winter. And now we're going to do the same thing. So now the person can look straight ahead almost and be able to see the sun without looking, lifting up their head at all. So we're gonna to point to the sun with their other arm to show the difference in the sun angle. Maybe a little. Okay. So this arm is kind of showing where the sun is in the sky during the summer, and this is where the sun is in the sky during the winter.